I can't prove it, but JP was at the Capitol. I'm just saying, I don't got video or picture, but I'm pretty sure JP was at the Capitol. And the way he talked to my girl Taylor, period. Like, are you serious? See, that's why you can't settle for a man that got a gap. Love is Blind, Season 5, Episodes 5 through 7. What's up, y'all? It is Jay Shanice and Bitch, I'm a Bride. Let's get into Love is Blind. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to the old subscribers. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Okay, sharing with your husband, cousin, brother. Okay, auntie, grandma, and them. Hey, I appreciate it. Now, if you're new here, I'm loud, I'm crazy, my reviews are all over the place, okay? And I'm not one of them girls that's gonna break the episode down for you. You seen it, I seen it, and I'm not about to be like, you know what, they got in the shower, they did the nasty, then they put their clothes on, then they went to eat, and then they fell in the ocean. No, I'm not about to do that with y'all. <laughs> we grown as I'm about to be all over the place. You ready for Love is Blind season five? Because I know some of y'all been waiting for me. I was getting ready. <laughs> I was getting ready for y'all. Let's get into it. You know who I'm going to talk about first. Ooh, chi wally wally. Ooh, chi bang bang. Okay, let's get into it, baby. Talking about, she didn't even write me a letter. She didn't even say goodbye. Why do you deserve that, huh? Why? He's like, I want to call her. Marco, get Aaliyah on the line. And Aaliyah's like, hey, Lydia was telling me things I didn't want to hear. I needed to process everything that had happened. Lydia was smothering me. The hoe was on my neck, okay? So I had to get out of there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left you, but I had to get out of there. He's like, this is not what you do. I was ready to propose to you. I was ready to marry you. This is not what you do. Sometimes I don't like how he talk to her. I don't like how he talk to women. I don't think he know how to talk to women. I don't think he really respect women. And why does he look like Bartisa's cousin? Why do they got the same hair? I'm convinced SK, Kwame, and Bartisa are all cousins. I'm through with it. They all cousins. They all know each other. And sometimes I just feel like people want to be on this show to get numbers up, to be influencers. And y'all better not be following Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang. Y'all better not be following him and making his numbers go up because y'all always want to give these people six figure followers. For what? For why? Okay. Anyways, that happened. They got off the phone. They decided to meet at the restaurant. See, I'm so mad at Aaliyah for doing this, but I know we all have our moments. She was like, let me get my notes. Let me get my words right, okay? Because this is what she said, okay? And she did say she felt like Lydia knew he was going to be there. He's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Guys are so stupid. Do you know women be snooping? Women be snooping. I'm the kind of woman, you invite me to your house, I'm going under the cabinet, under the sink to see what's under there, okay? Because you might be hiding a bonnet, some gots to be glue. I don't know what you got under there, but I might go around and I might open your shower curtain or your shower door to make sure you ain't got no dove in there, okay? Some caress in there. I'm just saying period you better have only old spice in there the fuck doves man that's what you better have under there. anyways you know what so they met at the restaurant Aaliyah was looking real pretty she had her white on like me yeah yeah she had her white on she was ready seems like you're ready listen she says she regrets leaving him she loves him her heart is in his hands she wants to be his other hand she would marry him and you know how this mother repay her by telling her he don't want to do that and he was protecting Lydia he wanted to protect Lydia because Lydia invaded his privacy Lydia was a stalker I said was she he said she took a picture of my um driveway and sent it to me who car did you have in the driveway was it a Honda Civic a Jetta a Jeep Wrangler a Toyota Corolla a Toyota Camry a Mercedes was it a Lexus what was in your driveway that shouldn't have been in your driveway because you was messing with Lydia who else was you messing with see that's the only reason a girl would drive past and take a picture because you lied to her okay did she find somebody's earring in your house a bobby pin what did she find that made her say you're lying but instead of you telling her the truth and saying hey you know what I'm sleeping with this girl and this girl and this girl. I'm a free agent, right? You lied and probably told her she was the only one. And then you were selling her a dream, letting her buy your dog stuff, letting her uh, come to your house and spend the night, taking her on dates, okay? You was there for her. And then you was playing with her because you was sleeping with Ashley down the street in a Toyota Corolla. That's just period, okay? So I don't blame Lydia for driving by. Then he said she was stalking the girl on Instagram because it had to be the same girl. So she was watching her stories trying to figure out what hoe he was messing with it show wasn't her car in the driveway okay because she had to take a picture so he was telling her all that like he just did, wanted to protect her image and all this and i'm just like what does that have to do with you and Aaliyah? and Aaliyah's like well 
y'all are on the wrong show. Y'all came on Love is Blind because y'all already knew each other. Y'all should have been on an ultimatum. I said, oh, did you say they should have been on the ultimatum? Girl, bye. He's talking about, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, what sense does that make? I didn't know she was going to be here. And Aaliyah's like, okay, okay. After she spilled her heart out, he wanted to talk about Lydia and all the drama he's been through with Lydia. But I don't feel sorry for him because these men be bringing that on themselves sometimes, selling women dreams, and then wonder why they act a fool when they don't get the goddamn dream, when they don't get the veil, okay? Listen. Don't nobody feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him. I feel for Lydia because I know that sold her a dream. After good, let her stay at the house, cooking him dinner, buying him stuff. He he just letting her do it. He just letting her do it. Oh my God. Anyways, and Leah was saying, Lydia was telling people that she knew somebody was going to be there. So she knew you were going to be here. And my thing is, if you were going to marry Aaliyah and you wanted to be with Aaliyah, what would change now? You just wanted to be famous. You just wanted to be an influencer. You just wanted more pussy on your plate. That's how I feel. Like, why were you on here? Because you should still feel the same way that you wanted to marry her and you still wanted to be with her and make things work. Because Aaliyah is a good woman. She's talented. The girl sings. I follow her on Instagram, okay? That is one that I follow on Instagram because I just think she is drop dead gorgeous and she's cute as fuck. So what would have changed if you still wanted to be with her? What? I don't get that. Why is it all about Lydia? Why are you not protecting Aaliyah? Aaliyah said that Lydia was basically harassing her and talking to her, telling her all your business. Why did you not make that a point? It's all about you, huh? So now you don't want to make it work. And I said, you know what? That's okay, Aaliyah. You was vulnerable. You opened up to him. He don't want it. That's fine. But let's get to the other thing. Then Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang then took his ass down to the, the dinner or whatever they was having on the rooftop and he wanted to confront Lydia. This is my thing. I thought he was going to go there to confront Lydia about Aaliyah. Like, why would you ruin my chances with Aaliyah? Why would you tell Aaliyah all these things? But that's not what he did, okay? This is why I think he's still messing with the girl that the car was in the driveway because he wanted to confront Lydia about being in his business and stalking him and invading his privacy and showing her deep ends from that girl and it's like Lydia's like okay if you want to be honest do you want to talk about the sex do you want to talk about the sex and he's like wait 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 I want to talk no 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 sir let's talk about the real issue is that you were dogging Lydia out and sleeping with other women which is not right okay I'm just saying Lydia don't have to drive past his house but sometimes when you messing with dudes I've been there before when I was in my 20s I went through a stalking stage of one guy he drove me goddamn crazy okay Okay, he wasn't even that fine. He wasn't even, the motherfucker looked like a gremlin. Okay, he looked like a gremlin. He had a, and I became crazy because he was messing with me and this other girl and we all worked together. And he kept telling me, this ain't, this ain't what you think it is. Me and her are just friends. No, they was not friends. They was fucking around. And he was messing with me too. I had to drive past his house and I seen it with my own eyes. Quit playing with me all the time. Play with your mama, but don't play with me. So I do feel for Lydia. I know y'all like Jay Shanice. I didn't know you was that crazy. I used to be a little crazy. I used to be a little crazy. That's why I don't mess with dudes like Uchi, Wally, Wally, Bang, Bang. That's what I don't do no more, okay? If I'm going to go through it, I want to go through it with a fine-ass man, okay? Fine as fuck, okay? Give me Travis Kelsey with the beard. Not the mustache, but with the beard, I will go through it, Okay? So I don't, I don't get it. Him and Lydia start yelling. They start arguing. Milton tried to come in there. This is the one thing I didn't like about Lydia because Milton tried to come in there and have her back and like, we need to leave. Let's go. We got something to do in 10 minutes. She's like, wait a minute. I'm going to talk to him. No, you need to listen to your man. When your man say, let's leave, you get up and you leave. Because your man is trying to protect you. He does not want to fight this man. Get up and leave. What do you need to hear from him? He's not going to tell you that he loves you. He wants to be with you. It was you the entire time. He's not going to tell you that because he's too busy worried about these DMs and you following other people's stories. Yeah, I'm going to see what hoe you messing with. Let me figure out if she got you on her Instagram stories. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And why are we talking about something that's months ago and I'm engaged to somebody else and you about almost got engaged to Aaliyah? Why does this even goddamn matter? I thought he was going to go there and defend Aaliyah. No, it's all about him. All about him. And why was you stalking me? Why was you? He always trying to act like he the victim, but he sold her a dream and she bought it. And that's the end goddamn result. You're going to mess around and get a stalker. You're going to mess around and get fucked up. Because you're out here being a hoe. 
He ain't ready for marriage. He never was. He just trying to be famous. That's it. That's all. And Aaliyah was right. You should have been on the ultimatum with uh, Lydia. That's what y'all should have did. You was on Love is Blind and this is not the show you need to be. But he seen how Kwame and SK and Bertiz and all them fools blew up and got popular and became influencers. That's exactly what he want. He want the popularity. He want the fame. I'm so sick of people. You got a good job. You got a good life. You driving a Tesla. You doing your thing, but you still want to be famous. You still want fame. You still want popularity. What is wrong with people nowadays? You will sell somebody a dream, pretend like you're in love, get engaged, all for popularity and fame. That will fade because reality TV show stars are not really stars. There's going to be a new season of Love is Blind in like four months. People will soon forget about you. Then you're going to be in the comments on Instagram like Shane acting all crazy because you still want attention. You still want people to notice you. You still want people to like you. Whew, that's enough of Uchi, Wally, Wally, Bang, Bang, and Aaliyah. I just don't got time for him. And I do side with Aaliyah and Lydia. Yep, I said it. I said, I was talking mad shit about Le uh, Lydia last time. But you know what? I've been there, done that, and I done had to drive past the full house before, too, on some humbug shit. Don't play with me. Play with your mama. <laughs> that's just period. Let's talk about JP. I can't prove it, but JP was at the Capitol. I'm just saying, I don't got video or picture, but I'm pretty sure JP was at the Capitol. And the way he talked to my girl Taylor, period. Like, are you serious? See, that's why you can't settle for a man that got a gap. <laughs> you can't. She didn't like him because his gap and she should have walked away then. Okay, and the only reason he wanted to complain about her makeup or anything like that is because he knew that she didn't like him. She didn't want to be there. She was uncomfortable. She was tired of carrying the conversation. She was tired of him being awkward. Ain't no wall in between us, motherfucker. It's me right here. Have a conversation with me. But he didn't want to do that. He'd rather talk to a goddamn wall. You know what she should have talked about? Baby Jesus, America, and Donald Trump. He would have been able to talk to her all day long about them topics, okay? She had to be on the resort with him wearing red, white, and blue. If you love America so much, go America. Okay? Period. Marry her. I like America. I mean, I was born here, but it ain't never that deep. I ain't got no red, white, and blue in my goddamn closet. I don't even got no shoes. He had even shoes that was red, white, and blue and had the nerve to tell her, you're fake. You're fake because you had makeup on, eyelashes on, weave in, all that. What the fuck? She wanted to look good for you. She said she knew she he felt some type of way. When she left after they met each other, she said she cried several times. He talking about, yeah, there was makeup all on my jacket. Go get you some Tide and wash your damn jacket. You ain't got no goddamn washing machine? Like, are you serious, sir? You're not all that in a bag of chips. You're a firefighter that rescues cats, okay? What are you talking about? And you want the American dream. That is the American dream. Like, she's a teacher that teaches kindergarten. You're a firefighter. That's American dream. I mean, you can't get more American than that, sir. I mean, unless you a nurse and she a social worker. I'm just saying. Like, what was wrong with her? Nothing was wrong with her. He just don't know how to talk to women. He don't know how to handle women. And that's it. That's all. And I'm glad she walked away from him and said, you know what? What you're not going to do is disrespect me. Try to make my self-esteem low because your self-esteem is low. And because your confidence is low, I'm sleeping in another goddamn room. The next morning he talking about, I'm sorry. No. Sorry don't live here. Sorry for 2004. Ain't nobody going to want to hear your sorry. Okay. There's an icebox where I used to be where I used to live. Didn't our Omarion tell your ass? No. He said, what should we do after this? She said, we about to go home. We're done. I said, I know that's, I know that's why she was uncomfortable. She realized she made a mistake. I'm glad she walked away. She did not go through with that marriage. I really had high hopes for them, but JP is a jerk. He's a fool and he loves America. You know what? He need to go back to Texas, go to a farm town, go get him a little hillbilly that don't wear no makeup, have about five or six kids. But let me tell you something. He'll get that and cheat with a girl that looks like Taylor. They always say what they want, but they always want the opposite. You just probably thought Taylor was too pretty for you. <laughs> so you want somebody that's ugly. So go to... Go get you a hillbilly and leave the hell, leave girls like Taylor alone. Okay? Shit. He get on my goddamn nerves. I can't believe him. You're fake. You're fake. Shit. She didn't say, you know what? Before I marry you, before I fuck with you, um, go get some braces. She didn't say that. She didn't say that, but you want to say all this stuff. I like your freckles. She don't give a damn if you like her freckles. She want to put on cover girl. Leave her the goddamn alone. Okay? Period. 
Oh, he get on my nerves. And she's so mature. She didn't cuss him out like I would have. She just was like, it's all good. We're done. <laughs> you weirdo. You awkward motherfucker. We're done. And I was like, you know what, Taylor? Good for you. You'll find you a man. You might find you a single daddy. While you teaching one of them kindergarten kids, they daddy going to come in. He going to be fine as hell. And he going to be a single daddy, okay? And that's what's going to happen. And you going to get you a man, girl. I'm putting it in the atmosphere that a fine single daddy going to come into that school. And Taylor going to be like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. Who y'all want to talk about next? Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about Izzy and Stacy. But first, we need to talk about Stacy's problem. She needs to drink more water. Ain't no way her little ash should have clogged up a toilet. Oh my God. I would be, I would be so embarrassed. She was like, I clogged up the toilet. I was like, girl, how hard was your poo? We need to discuss this. We need to talk about this. You need some water or something. Loosen that stuff up. Ain't no way you clogging up a toilet, okay? Anyway, she said he got a big one. She said he got a big one. She was surprised. I said, I'm not really surprised. I'm not surprised. He good looking, pretty teeth, pretty. Oh my God, I love me a bald man with a beard, honey. I really do. They are cute. She said she's in love. She is comfortable with him. She just loves him down, baby. They was having them a good time in Mexico, okay? But let me tell you something. Was his apartment real? Just tell me if that was his really, was that his real apartment or was that a model apartment at the apartments? Because, you know, they showed us all the leasing information and when they was open and all that. I don't know if that was really his real apartment or if that was just somewhere he was leasing. You know, they, a model apartment where they show people because that's what it was giving me. That's exactly what it was giving me. And see, Stacy did not like that he had paper cups and plates and plastic silverware okay she said what we're not gonna do is this because you know what i like to go out of town i like to do things and you've never even been out of texas like you have not even been to california or new york like that is fucking crazy like are you serious like dad he just got a passport like is he serious he used to sell used cars but now he's gonna be selling insurance and I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. I have two Mercedes. I have, I own my home. Like, what does your savings account look like? What does your 401k look like? Like, what do your income look like? Like, Izzy, I understand you have a bit dick, but that, that, that can't work. Like, if my air conditioner goes out, do you have $20,000 to replace it? Like, what is your deal? Like, I'm used to men having money. What do you mean we're going to go 50-50 on a date? Honey, I don't do 50-50. Like, no, I, I'm Stacy, bitch. I do not do 50-50. But listen, neither do Jay Shanice. <laughs> I don't do no 50-50 day. Baby, you're paying for it all. You gonna take me to the pumpkin patch and the corn maze. That's what you gonna do, okay, honey? You gonna take me to a haunted house and I'm, I don't wanna see the bill. I don't wanna see the bill. That's your business. You gonna take me to the movies. You gonna do what you need to do. We gonna go out to eat. You're gonna pay for it. What do you mean 50-50? Izzy do not have his life together. You remember when Johnny said he had bad credit? I believe her, okay? His life is not in order. He wants to be an influencer too. He wants to be popular too. He does not plan on working a job, honey. He is about to be an influencer because y'all about to run his numbers up, honey. He is going to be an influencer and travel in the world. He's like, I'm ready to travel the world. Did you see how he was looking when she was in that Mercedes and when he went in her house? He said, bingo. He hit the jackpot, baby, because Stacy got her sh together. She got her shit together and he does not. Maybe they'll work. Maybe they'll work. I seen people say, cause I said Stacy was pretty. I see some of y'all say, she look old to me. She look good without makeup. She look good without makeup. Quit playing. Quit playing with Stacy. She is a cute girl. Y'all quit playing with Stacy. Izzy is fine. I would have, Izzy. If Izzy wanted me, baby, I would have gave it to him. We don't even got to pretend like we're going to get married, baby. I would have just gave you. One of my hoop earrings would have been in his lost and found, baby. One of these hoop earrings would have been in his lost and found. And y'all would have knew Jay Shanice would have been there, okay? She got mad about that, too. She was like, why? Oh, my God. Like, I got rid of all my stuff from my other guys, like all their draws and shit. Why do you still have earrings and bobby pins in there? Like, that is mad disrespectful. And why are your shoes on the bed? Like, are you serious? Please go get some new dishes. Please. Please, and throw those bitches' body pins away. Like, I'm sick of your shit, Izzy. Like, I'm sick of it, okay? But her dad said he's good. 
He don't want to have to help her. He want Izzy to be able to do it, but he will help her. So her dad did agree, and he was okay with it. So we're going to see what happened with Izzy. But that 50-50 don't make no goddamn sense, okay? He did talk to Lydia, and it was whatever. Lydia said that's usually her type, Izzy. But I said, no, Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang is your type, not Izzy. Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang is your type, okay? And they had a connection and all that. They had a nice little conversation. It is what it is. We're going to see what happened with Stacey and Izzy. Let me see. She says she don't want to have to worry about money. Girl, you ain't going to have to worry about money because you got a daddy. <laughs> okay? If Izzy don't work out, you still got your daddy. And that's just period, point blank. But you got to watch out for a man like Izzy. Because you know what? When they have a good dick, they fuck for a reason. They do. They do. They really, really do. Okay? Let's get into Milton and Lydia. They was getting on my nerves. Okay? They did get it on. Okay? He said she was beautiful. She didn't expect him to look like that. But Milton is funny. If you hear Milton, he be reading her. He said, you need a tutor. You need some flashcards. Okay, she's like, I'm loud. I'm crazy because I'm Puerto Rican. And I'm like, okay. But sometimes she be putting on that accent real thick. I'm like, girl, see you playing up on that accent. You went through college. That accent is not that thick. Now, her mama's accent was thick because Milton kept being like, huh? What? What did you say? Yes. She had to repeat herself. I said, Milton, open your ears and listen. Showing your 24 near 24 year old ness. <laughs> 24 year old ness. Okay. Period. But they got it on. She like him. He is really funny. And she said that he's he's handsome. And they're cute. They're cute. I mean, I like Milton. He is young. She kept kind of picking on him about his age. That was bothering me when they was fighting about the clothes because he wanted to wear the gray swim trunks. She wanted him to wear the black to match with her. And she's like, no, wear the black. He's like, I'm going to wear the gray. No, wear the black. I said, okay, are you mothering him? See, that's why I don't mess with certain men that are older than me because I don't want you fathering me. Don't daddy me. <laughs> okay, you can zoddy me. But don't daddy me and father me because that ain't cute. That's not a turn on. Don't tell me what to do, okay? So that was kind of weird because they was fighting about clothes. She kept mentioning his age. He was like, yeah, you are old. I guess to me because she kept mentioning it, he started making digs too. But it was funny to me. Uh, What else? She met his roommate. She hates the apartment and they rugs and all that. She told the roommate he can keep the rugs. He was like, oh, really? Wow. Then the roommate was talking about they love Pokemon. Peace. Pikachu, Pikachu. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Jay Shanice used to watch Pokemon with her little brother. Showed in when they released the movie, I took my brother to see Pokemon. I love me some Pikachu. When that Pikachu movie came out, baby, I went to see it. I went to see it. No, it's not Pikachu that say that. Pikachu be like, Pikachu! Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Oh! Y'all got to work with me. You know, this 37-year-old mama too. You know my mind. But you know, I love me Pikachu and Jigglypuff. Because Jigglypuff would put people to sleep and then draw on their face. Oh, I love me some Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. You know what? Don't get it twisted, okay? Listen, he's cute. I like them highly educated brothers. And that's just period, okay? You know, he met the mom and the brother. And the mom said that he is welcoming the family. And they accept him. So we're going to have to see. Because I don't know if Lydia, for real, I don't know if she really liked him. She didn't mention if the SEX was good. She didn't give us no details. I wanted details, okay? The way he was picking her up, I said, baby, a tall man do come in handy. I mean, they come in handy. They can put you on the kitchen counter. They can, you know, they can do some things. And he 24, that means he can nothing keep going. <laughs> He don't need a break. He don't need a break. He don't need to lay down, catch his breath, get some water, go pee, maybe smoke a cigarette, smoke a blunt. He don't need all that, okay? A snack. He just going to keep going because he's 24. So, I mean, Lydia having a good time. But I don't know because I don't like that she didn't listen to her man when he said, let's get up and leave. Why are you fighting with this man? Get up and leave. And then Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang want to talk to Milton. So, we going to have to see what happened. Then when they was at that cookout, Johnny got her a new man. Johnny got her a new man, which is Chris. Why the hell did we clap for Chris? Talking about he got high self-esteem and he ended up with Johnny anyway. So why did you do that? Y'all could have got engaged and went to Mexico too because we done ran out of couples. We only got two couples that's going to mess around and get married. Two of them. 
That's it. Are you serious, Love is Blind? You need to start showing more people. So she back with him. Her and Izzy got into it. Izzy got all wild up calling her. What did he call her? I forgot what he called. What did he call her? And Stacy said Johnny was talking stuff about her in the pods after she found out that it was Stacy that he picked. And she said that her mom loves Chris and they're in the best place. Oh, he was calling her sketchy and shady. Now, you can't be calling nobody sketchy and shady because Izzy is definitely giving off sketchy and shady vibes. Period, point blank, made her cry. And it's just ridiculous. Izzy is an asshole. Johnny ain't right either, but he didn't have no right to talk about her like that or treat her like that or confront her like that and get all wild up. Like, why are you so mad? Why are you turning red? I'm not with you. You did not pick me. You picked Stacy. There you go, okay? Maybe she'll let you drive one of her goddamn Mercedes, okay? Calling her sketchy, shady, all that. It was a mess. I was like, Chris, go take up for your woman since you chose her. Go take up for your woman. So we're going to have to see what happens with um Lydia and Uchi, Wally Wally Bang Bang. We're going to have to see what happens with that and what Milton going to say to him because I thought he was going to go there and have Aaliyah's back, but he didn't. He wanted to talk about his damn self and whatever hoe was in his uh driveway. That's what he wanted to talk about. Lydia really got fired up and got loud, okay? Got loud. I didn't hear that accent one time when she started yelling and screaming and everybody sitting there just looking. My ass would have been in the room talking about, hey, what y'all arguing about? What 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 happened? What had happened was? What? What happened with you and Aaliyah? Y'all used to date? Oh my God. What? Now she getting married to Milton? Do y'all think she's really going to marry Milton? Do you think both couples are going to get married or is somebody going to walk away? Which couples do y'all predict? I don't know if Lydia and Milton going to get married because she's still healing from Uchi Wally Wally Bang Bang, okay? Stacy and Izzy might, but if somebody says no, I think it'll be Stacy because Izzy is getting nothing but benefits from Mary and Stacy. Stacy is getting nothing but some big dick. And ain't nothing wrong with some big dick. <laughs> Baby, I definitely, when I get married, here comes the bride. All dressed in ivory, cause I can't be wearing pure white, cause I used to be a hoe. Anyways, listen, I need a big dick <laughs> and lots of money, baby. At least six figures. Can you make close to six? Ninety thousand. I'll take ninety thousand. I'll take even eighty thousand. But can you have a big and know what to do with it? I'm just saying. I got requests. I got requests. If if I don't waited this long, my mama didn't even get married till she was in her 50s. This is my mama's veil. My mama didn't even get married till she was in her 50s. So what does that say about me? <laughs> what is my future, future to entail? I better live my best life. I might get married in my 50s too. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next week. I will see y'all next week, honey, because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if Izzy and Stacey should get married. I don't know if Milton and Lydia should get married. I don't know what's going to happen, but baby, one thing I know for certain is Jay Shanice going to be right here, right here, be right here, have no fear. I don't know if that's how the song goes, but all the words is out of order, okay? I will see y'all next week. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching for this long. If you stayed this long, because you know people's attention spans don't be that goddamn long. It don't be that goddamn long. And don't y'all be dating no man that says 50-50 on a date. Let me tell you a story real quick before I leave. I was talking to this dude. He was cute or whatever. Got a good job, whatever, whatever. I was at the Swingers Club. We'll talk about that another day. I'm not a swinger, but I got a few comedy shows coming up there for Friday the 13th. I'm going to be doing comedy at the Swingers Club, okay? We was talking. Then he said, I don't pay for dates. I want the women to pay for dates. Sir, you lost me there. That was the end of our conversation. I said, what do I need to talk to you for, sir? You don't pay for dates. Oh, wow. And then he said he was sleeping with four women. Girl, I said, if you think I'm going to be number five, baby, I'm too damn old for that. He thought I was in my 20s. He thought I was late 20s. He thought I was 27, y'all. Uh-uh, baby, I'm knocking on 40. You ain't about to play with me and play with my goddamn time. I know this is a swingers club, but goddamn. You know, but I'll be going there because the owner cool and he be giving me free drinks and stuff, y'all. So I'll just go there and bless. We got shows coming up there. It's going to be so much fun. And I love to do raunchy stand-up comedy. I, I mean, I can do clean, but a hoe love to do raunchy. I love to talk nasty and tell all my little nasty stories. I do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all tomorrow.
not tomorrow. Well, maybe if you watch Bachelor in Paradise or Golden Bachelor, I have a review up for Golden Bachelor. Go watch that. I might do Bachelor in Paradise because people are asking me. So I might do it. Okay. I'm talking about see y'all tomorrow. Like we know each other for real, for real. But we do. We kind of do really know each other because I just told y'all I used to be a stalker. And I told y'all I used to be a hoe in this video. And I told y'all I went to the swingers club. Okay. Okay, I'm just telling y'all too much now. I'm really telling y'all too much about my business. I'm not saying, I ain't no swinger, but I like to have a good time. You know what? I wish I knew about swingers clubs when I was in my 20s. That would have saved me a lot of headache. I would have just went there, wild out, had me a good time at the swingers club. Okay, they even got a glory hole in there. Y'all, I went to a pillow princess contest. They was, yes, yeah, like one woman, eight men. It was insane. I was like, what is going I ain't never seen no sh like that in my life. And I'm 37 years old. Okay? People is freaks. I'm pretty sure that's how you get COVID. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see y'all next week. Bye.